Okay guys, JH, welcome to practice three, late in the day. Uh, you know, I just did a, a video for one of the the channel subscribers and he was asking about Martin Ayer's most powerful move in golf, swing action, which I, you know, I was involved with Marty in the early days when he was, was building the swing and, and, and evolving the swing. So I spent, you know, a lot of time with him. And, and of course, you know, like his action is just off the scale in terms of power and, and ball striking. But it's very, very difficult to, to understand and conceptualise because conventional golf swing guys, we move the club that way. With Martin Ayres' golf uh, swing, the, the thought process is the club comes this way. It twirls towards us like this, like we're going to throw it, bring it in here. It, it stays within our containment lines, never gets outside. It's always in here, as a feeling. It's here, as a feeling. Feels like it comes here, gets out there clearly, because we wouldn't have any extension in the golf swing. But I was just doing some shots for Howie, which maybe some of you guys will see, because it may go up as public on the, on the channel for a while, until Howie can download it. Uh, and you'll see that I hit the ball sensational, with no warm-up. And so, so what is what is the Martinez um, um, DOCF golf swing, which is diametrically opposed um, um, counter rotating forces? And as we go in here, and then it it rotates the other way, it comes in here, builds, and rotates the other way. Now Marty says to me when he's hitting it good that he actually feels like he's hitting the ground with the back of the club, like that. The downswing's like that. And really guys, when you, when you twirl it like this in the backswing, if you start your twirl, and if you have a look here you'll see this configuration because for me to get the feeling I have to be semi-twirled at a dress. I've actually got that twirl torque on my hands at a dress, here, right here. There it is, I'm already into the twirl here. To go from there, <laughs> um, I find it a bit hard. So I'm, I'm actually here. So, <coughs> I'm still finding the flu, guys. So I actually look like a left-hander at address. See, the club's in line with my, my lead arm. But it's there, I go from there, and the club just comes straight up. There, as a feeling. And as I said in Howie's video, the one guy that's done that in his golf swing uh, with a conventional type golf swing his whole life has been Freddie Couples. You watch Freddie. Freddie basically stands still like that, lifts the club up to here, and then turns. But, he, but, he's, but he's, he's rolling it this way because he gets the top, he's a super cupped uh, configuration player, so he's rolling it this way. He just lifts it up. Freddie is Freddie. He just lifts it and then turns. So there's a lot of twirl in Freddie. But it's more outside the confinement lines, outside the left and right vertical axis confinement lines compared to, to Martin Ayres' golf swing. So for anybody who's interested in, um, in Marty's swing, I mean, we can do, a, can do a bit on it. I mean, I never try and do anything with it because, you know, I don't understand it like Marty does and because Marty's going commercial and has been commercial and I, I don't want to sort of, <laughs> you know, espouse or extol any... Uh, of the mechanics that are not real. I mean, it's just my, my opinion of them and what I saw hanging about with Marty because I did a lot of his videos. And you'll, you'll see me in a lot of the videos with him. But, but, but basically it's this guy. So with conventional golf swing, we're going, we're moving this way, but this one we don't. We immediately, the club moves this way towards us. The handle, Marty talks about the handle moving in towards the body. He says that the club goes this way. Think about that, guys. He said it goes this way. The first movement is this way. And that's because when you twirl it up this way, the handle goes that way. When he used to say about, you know, the club moves this way in the backswing. It doesn't move that way. It moves this way. And if you curl it, uh, twirl it, guys, the club does move this way, look, like that. And there's a lot of things that I will end up remembering as I go along. But I hit the ball fantastic, just the, the, the video before this, uh, in doing that private um, 
an explanation for Howie, one of the uh, the channel uh, subscribers. And I haven't done it for years, guys. A couple of years, at least. Uh, and I haven't seen Marty for quite a while either. But Marty is about to become commercial. They're putting together a big promotional um, um, uh, process and they will be going commercial. They'll have a, a website where you can have, have lessons or buy the DVDs or whatever. So that'll come out soon. So <laughs> the last thing I want to do is, is, is espouse anything that's, that's going to be you know, conflicting or, or just off the main line of, of what Marty actually does. But, but it's just my opinion, and being around him, I mean, I, uh, and, and being there at the evolution of it, I mean, I think I know a little bit about it. But Steve Elkin, if you go and watch some of the stuff on Secret on the Dirt site, you, you'll see Steve, when, 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 Marty, when Marty helped Steve out for that, for that one month period before the PGA, few years back and, and, and Elkington nearly won that PGA, just had one one shot that just went over the back of the green on 17 and and he just couldn't, just didn't get it up and down or otherwise it would have been the playoff but you know, he would have been the oldest winner of the PGA ever if he'd have won and he went from hitting it pretty ordinary to hitting it unbelievable and this is what he was doing so uh, yeah so guys, this is what it feels like here. And I'll try and do it smoothly, and we'll just hit a couple. <coughs> Late in the day here, guys. It's beautiful, right now, no, no wind. Watch this. Well, I'm eternally grateful, as I said on the, on the tape, to Howie, the guy I did the, the tape for, that he's He's, he's got me back associated with, uh, with DOCF, or the most powerful move in golf, because from the first shot I hit, I just nailed it. In that video, dead cold, and I just nailed it, and I've just nailed that. And I'm not doing it anywhere near where, where, how it needs to be done. I don't care how it needs to be done, that's how I want to hit the golf ball. Now that is really containment, guys. If you understand containment, that's uncontained, that is contained. So if you had two, two walls up here, the club is swinging as a feeling between those two walls, or the arms are. They don't want to get outside those two walls. I mean, they're, they're just absolutely, ridiculously uh, high quality shots for me. And the ones I hit for Howie, they, I mean, they're just, you can see them up there, they're all in a five yard circle, probably not even that big. They were just perfect. And the couple of drives I hit were bullets. So here it is, guys. So look at this here. I've got this configuration here, guys, so I can actually pre twirl it. That just gives me the pre twirl. And this is the action it's this as you get up. This is here. This hand comes this way, like an ice cream scoop, comes this way, and this one goes this way. So it's here. And I never really understood when Marty used to say about the first move in the golf swing is the shaft comes this way. It doesn't go that way, it comes this way. And if you think about twirling it immediately straight up the body and the, and the shaft of the club coming straight up the body line, you'll see that. <coughs> so watch this. Here we go. Doesn't get any better than that never gets any better than that anyway guys we'll do a little bit more on this as the week progresses and uh, we'll uh, we'll go back into uh, the most powerful move in golf okay guys well um, hi Johnny I'm just doing this video mate um, okay yes yeah, so we'll do uh, we'll do more um, as the week ensues, and we will um, we'll revisit uh, DOCF or the most powerful moving golf. Okay, let, let's just hit one last shot. That's my buddy Johnny. He's just uh, come here late in the day to hit a few shots. He's got a nice swing, old school like Sam Snead.
doesn't get any better than that guys okay short and short and concise and precise but there's a lot of loading in it okay guys have a look at that that's uh, the most powerful move in Mar golf Martin has a swing there's a lot more about it that I'll remember that will come back to me and we'll, we'll do a bit more on that during the week <clears throat>